The gleaming new state prison sits empty. Problems with the geothermal system and ventilation. Ten legislators came down from Des Moines to find out what's going on. Come down and find out why the new prison is not yet opened and what they're causing the delays. But first, a tour of the old facility to show the contrast between the old and new. It takes more guards to watch in the old prison. The new open design in the new prison means less guards. More natural lighting, which is good for prisoner morale and employees of the prison. So what we have to look at to meet building codes is a certain volume of smoke has to be removed and a certain amount of fresh air has to come back into the building. And we're looking at the upper windows here and the upper windows down there to put a mechanical louvered system. That is the best option right now, the most cost effective. So lawmakers have an explanation what's been done to get the geothermal and the smoke handling systems up to snuff. The question some lawmakers have is how did this happen in the first place? With the add with the additions on the windows to help uh, remove the smoke, that makes sense. Um, my question will be, and today wasn't the proper venue to ask. My question will be, how did we get to that point? I don't understand how you can uh, uh, one of the one of the most competent engineering firms in the state of Iowa, one of the most competent engineering firms in the United States, screwed this up. I, I, I'm not at all convinced that we know what we're that, that we're getting to where we're getting it fixed yet, and I'm not sure how we're paying for this. In the meantime, the big question many ask, when will the move take place? We're not going to put that date out there. It's a security concern. We can't let everybody know when we're going to have 585 of Iowa's worst offenders on the road. Locally still, the big question here is when will the move go from the old 1839 prison to a gleaming new one? In Fort Madison, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.